<sighs> yep. Welcome back, everyone, to Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth, too. Miles Edgeworth, what have you gotten yourself into now? Well, we're talking to Nicole, and guess what? <laughs> it's happened again, and everyone blamed it on me. Wasn't my fault. I didn't do it. I was not the one that did this. I'm just pointing it out. Like anyone that thinks it's my fault, I, I have a bone to pick with you. But first, I need to hear about the scoop. <laughs> I'm actually saying scoop, huh? It's just that you guys can't hear it with the way I talk. It is not my fault. Oh no. I can't believe this. Although I'm not expecting much, let's hear it. What's the scoop of yours? It's Mozilla. I have decisive evidence that the mighty Mozilla exists. Uh-huh. Tell me more. I would rather hear about Mozilla than your scoop. Okay. Let's go, okay? What? Hello? <laughs> He's leaving. You know, that's what I wanted to do when I saw the opening scene. Hold up, I'm being serious. Y'all might not believe it, but it's true. We don't have much time, but... What do you mean, but? This is a complete waste of time, Edgeworth. What are you even talking about? I guess there's no other way. <sighs> Man, Courtney is just gonna- when she finds out what we've been dilly-dallying with, she's gonna kick our ass. Never mind what Francisca's gonna do to us. Well, we are dead! Would this decisive evidence of yours be something you recorded on that tape recorder? That's Mr. Edgeworth for you. Yeah, good at figuring things out, ain't you? It's the sound of Mozilla spewing out fire. This place nearly became a sea of flames. If you say so. D don't make that face! If you think I'm lying, then have a listen for yourself. What you got? Ready? Here comes the flame. If that's a rickroll, I swear. Oh, she's headbanging. How was that? Oh, it's hard to tell over your shouting. But if you say so, I guess they could be flames. Well, I mean, it sounded like something. Ma'am, that better not be you scooting. <laughs> Miss Swift, did you truly witness these so-called flames? Well, well, to tell you the truth, I didn't really see it with my own two eyes. On account of... Oh, well, I wasn't actually there at the time. What? Get... Edgeworth, get your pants, we're leaving. This has been a complete waste of my fucking time, madam. If Mozilla had appeared, wouldn't you have noticed no matter where you were? Um, well, well... Well, I was a ways off, and it was using a slightly unusual recording method, so... Hmm. Could you explain to me this recording method in more detail? Uh, uh I guess I just dug my own grave. Oh, you sure did, madam. You know what put me in it? It's absolutely- I can't believe that I'm going through all this goofiness at the last episode. Truth is, I was aiming for a scoop, so I did me some wireless wire tapping. I'm sure that you were aiming for it, dear. Now let's never speak of it again. Wait a minute. Wireless wire tapping? Well, if there's no wires, how do you tap them? That was a good question. Okay, please don't concern yourself with semantics. She was simply intercepting wireless communications and listening in without permission. Listen, we've all done it. I did it by accident once at PAX West. <laughs> I intercepted <laughs> a wireless connection, <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. And then I uploaded a picture to everybody that had swap note. Listen, this happens to people. I'm just saying that I understand this part of it. I've been spending the last few days scooing out the Grand Tower with my mentor. Oh, sorry. That's a scope. Guys, it's too late for me. Now this whole LP is over. Like, there's no way I can come up. Like, there's no way I can come back from this. There's just no way. So you're investigating the black market auctions. In that case, you naturally would have tapped the immediate area surrounding the Grand Tower. Man, I wonder if Lotta thought to do that. I feel like she surpassed her. You betcha. But, well, right then and there, I hear an ear-shattering roar. Finally, Mozilla appeared. My heart is pounding, and I feel him drawing near. So, everything except the sound is just her own personal impressions, right? I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. In the end, it seems like you didn't actually see anything. Well, I reckon writing is more my thing. Well, anyway, as I continue tuning into the situation, 
Little Miss K over there almost shatters my eardrums. Eavesdropping is for cowards! Why don't you come out here and fight us fair and square? Yeah, she did yell. It was great. I was there. What was that sound just now? Oh. That's what the sound was. She was listening in. Well, that's what you get, madam. <laughs> I see, Miss Swift. While you were eavesdropping, you were surprised by Kay's voice and fell over. In other words, you did not hear her voice directly. You heard it via the radio waves emitted by the bug, did you not? What? The, then does that mean the one who planted the bug on me was... I, I, I was just eavesdropping. I never stooped to bugging nobody. Miss Swift, do you mind if we borrow that tape for a while? Oh, well just do what you please already. Thank you, Nicole's tape recorder. Recording of what was intercepted from the bug that was planted on Kay. A lot of screaming. And something about skill. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Regina! Oh, thank God. Regina, I need your face. I need you to lighten up my day, please. Simon, I don't really care about your ass, to be fair. I mean, you're fine, I suppose. Mr. Edgeworth! Hello, darling. How are you? Why are you still here? Mr. Keys, Miss Barry. Hello, you two. What's happening? Oh, you still got your friend with you, do you? It's Ratatouille all over again. <laughs> Man, I haven't seen that movie in a grip. Uh, what voice did I give Simon again? Did you find him? Kind of like a weird Larry kind of voice. Oh, not yet. Just where could John be? John? Ah, uh, no, 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 it's nothing. Don't worry about it, Kay. You almost fucked it up. Oh my god, you almost gave away everything. Great job. They don't know anything about the kidnapping. Are you sure? Maybe they fucking did it. You know, at this point, I'm willing to blame anybody. Regarding Sebastian, we found him not too long ago. Yeah, but nobody care about that. That's not who they're looking for. Really? That's great. Thank you so much. Now I won't be arrested again. True, I'm sure you do care about that. Regina, can I talk to you instead of Simon? No, we're back over here. I guess they had to leave. Wait, what? What the hell just happened? Oh, they're still here. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, fine. Regina... I, I just, I need you. Please, help me. Well, even though Regina also searched with her friends... Oh, we were beaten to the punch. By friends, does she mean her animals? Well, I mean, if she was going to have them sniff out anything, I'm sure that would have helped. She's helpful. Hello, darling. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, very big circus. Tell me, how is the circus doing these days? Not that I have real time to ask this, but I'm gonna ask it because I just need to do anything to get away from Lada and Nicole. <laughs> if I recall correctly, wasn't the very big circus supposed to have a performance today? Yeah, that's right. Well, we've all been practicing a lot for this upcoming performance. Will Simon also be performing? Well, of course. He's been practicing really hard. Well, even though he keeps saying, No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Well, he even rode in a balloon and did lots of advertising for us. So, Mr. Edgeworth, you should also come by and see Simon's heroics. He's doing well, is he? Simon is doing better. That's good. Very well. That is, if we're able to successfully solve this case. Uh oh, I guess we'll be there in 20 years. Sorry, babe. The animal friends, tell me about them. It sounded like you were saying that you used animals in your search. Yeah. Well, I thought that we'd be able to find them if I used Regent and Astique, but... Oh, well, Simon said, no way, no way, no way, no way, and stopped me. No fun. Why did he do that? If Simon hadn't been there, there probably would have been a mass panic right about now. Oh, maybe that's why he said... You know, I mean, Regina has them under control, though, doesn't she? Simon, why did you stop her? Oh, it would have made the city more fun. Like the circus. Ugh! Mr. Edgeworth, please forgive me. Listen, I think you got your own problems. Why is he apologizing to me? I haven't said anything because you're the one that looks mean. Well, thank you, darling, for telling me nothing. Oh, man. Fine. Simon, I'll talk to you. You know what? That's how desperate I am. I'll do anything. Hello. How are you? How's your monkey? Uh, as expected of Mr. Edgeworth. How did you find him? Naturally, it was all thanks to his powers of logic and reasoning. 
Actually, it was just a coincidence. Yeah, this is the one time. Can't take credit for it all. Hello, how are you? I, I get it now. He's got a monkey on his back. Does that mean I can trust him? I don't trust anybody. You guys know how I do. I've played enough of these games to know. I mean, he probably fucking did it for all I know. Maybe Regina did it. Man, that would be the long con of the century. Because you know how I feel about Regina. And if she turned around to be some kind of crazy mixed up, like, I don't even know what. I, You know what? I would probably quit the damn game <laughs> if that happened. I guess we weren't any help at all, were we? Well, don't be silly. Of course you helped. Really, thanks a lot. Where were you guys searching, Simon? Uh, it was a bit far off, but we searched around the Sunshine Coliseum. Where's that? Oh, I see we get a map. The Sunshine Coliseum, so they were by the shore. Oh, that must have been nice. Oh, right, this place. There were a lot of people at the event there, so I thought he might have gone as well. Well, that's smart. An event? Oh, well, sounds like fun. Is it a festival? I want to go too. Me too. Can we just quit this? I'm sure Franzi won't kill us. It was a lot of fun. There were food stands, fireworks, and much more. Simon got worn out by all the people in the crowd pretty quickly, though. That's me. I feel you, Simon. I would do the same thing. Well, you never tell him that! It's settled. Once we wrap up this case, let's all go there. Event of the Coliseum. There are food stands and fireworks at the Sunshine Coliseum. Why did we get logic about that? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, I'm gonna have to check it. Alright, tell me about your circus show that you're working so hard on. At any rate, I'm glad you were able to find him so quickly! <laughs> Why is that? Well, the truth is, our circus show is about to start soon. So, uh, I don't think we would have been able to help out with the search much longer. Oh, I see. Well, that's good. At least now you can relax. Sorry to burden you with this when you also needed to prepare for your performance. Ah, uh, no, 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 it's okay. Please don't worry about it. After all, I also didn't want to get arrested again. Yeah, I bet you didn't. To be fair, God, it's, <laughs> it's like put the fear of God in him. I'm so relieved you were able to find him, Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah, but the warden still hasn't been declared guilty yet. What? You're saying there's still a chance I might be arrested? I don't know. Listen, I'm not a policeman. What the fuck do I know about anything anymore? No, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, please don't tease him. Oh, God. Okay, is that it? I don't even know anymore. But I don't even know anymore. Can we look at the logic? Because I think we quite we might have some that's left over as well. What do we have? Oh, we do. We still have the footprints. Those have been hanging around for a while. Cards that came through, sound of an explosion. Wait a minute. Oh, hang on. Sound of an explosion heard during the call. There's firework. What if, though? What if? What if they're over there? Is that it? That's it. Oh, hell yeah. Mr. Keys, didn't you say that there were fireworks at the Coliseum earlier? Huh? Uh, what about them? Were those fireworks set off during the day? Well, yeah, even while we were there, well, a bunch of them were set off. Who the fuck sets off fireworks during the day, though? What for? What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? The explosion sound we heard at the end of the kidnapper's phone call. Do you remember it, Kay? Could very well have been the fireworks. <gasps> ah! That's right. Don't think you can get away with this. Then come and get me. I'll be looking forward to it. That is, if you can bring me to justice. But I highly doubt that. Boom. Maybe he was just taking a big shit. <laughs> I don't know. Weirder things have happened. Well, the sound to have been picked up by the phone. It must have been fairly loud. So that means the culprit was near the Coliseum. Near the Coliseum, the sound of fireworks means that the kidnapper was near the Sunshine Coliseum. Okay, is that what we're going with? All right. Well, even so, I bet the fireworks could be heard in lots of places around the Coliseum. That's true, it's probably a big place, right? Indeed. It would be impossible for us to search the entire area by ourselves. Oh, if only we could have the police lend us a hand. Where's Gumshoe? I can't live without him anymore. Like, really, it's getting to be a problem. Oh, man. But speaking of which... Hey, boy. Yo! Get up, get up! Unless you want me to make some kind of backhanded compliment about how your ass look. Because, girl, it is looking fine right now. Hello. 
Kami, we miss you so much. No, don't run away. Kami, why are you running away? Come back. Oh, babe, how's your damn face? We miss you. Detective Gumshoe. Oh, when Mr. Edgeworth gave up his prosecutor's badge. Boy, you are still on this? Yo, we need your help, though. I just didn't know what to do. Uh, I guess still be our friend didn't occur to you? What are we gonna do then? Detective Gumshoe, don't follow me. Listen, we did say that, but you know we didn't mean it coming. We, man, boy, I miss your face. I miss your tie. And then I began to think, if Mr. Edgeworth ain't a prosecutor anymore, well, does that mean I'm no longer a detective? That's not what it means. Unless you want it to mean that. But that's not true. Even without Mr. Edgeworth, I'm still a detective, and investigating is my job. Detectives don't investigate just for the sake of prosecutors, pal. That's why, even if I'm on my own, I won't stop investigating. Oh no, <laughs> come to. So, you've been investigating by yourself? And perhaps, at that time. You should thank it, your former subordinate. That's right, Francisca did mention this. He gave me some valuable information which may save Kate Faraday. Detective Gumshoe did? Gummy, you've been behind us the whole time, haven't you? So Jill Crane's autopsy report. I went to the detention center to see how Kay was doing. That's when I heard. When you get to where I am, you can just create your own truths anytime you want. Kay Faraday is the culprit. That was a truth that I simply manufactured out of thin air. Ugh. Good, very good. That face. That expression. Fucking blaze, though. You heard that conversation. That's right. And that's why I looked over the evidence again myself, sir. Gummy, you really helped us. Gummy, that's amazing! So it's you who saved me! <laughs> Kay, I'm really glad you got your memories back. Thank you. Do you get it now? I can investigate on my own. Wait, did he just run away? Gum, she don't run away! You've already proven that you can investigate on your own. After all, you saved me! Come back! Don't leave! Detective, I need your help. Currently, I'm not a prosecutor, nor am I much of anything else. Even so, I will pursue this case. I ask you not as a prosecutor, but as a friend. Detective Gumshoe, will you help us? Gumshoe, please. <gasps> He's bowing! Yo, Edward, don't ever do that. Oh, please, cut it out, sir. Come on, it's really important, Gumshoe, or he wouldn't have done that. Gummy! Come on, you gotta help. Oh. We miss you. Okay, I get it. I get it, pal. Yay, the music! Hooray! I can't bear to see Mr. Edgeworth bowing his head to me like this. <laughs> Gummy! Thank you, detective. What do you want me to do, sir? Oh, anything! Oh my god, I'm so glad to have him back. I could cry. Oh. I really, honestly, I missed having him. You really do miss the loss of this dude. He is so important. Detective Gumshoe, please tell me what you found in your investigation so far. Roger, leave it to me, sir. I got three things to report. First up is about Kay's clothes that were sent to the crime lab. Traces of an extremely powerful sleeping drug called Sleepy Zizizizi were found on him. So, that means after Kay was drugged at Gord Lake, she was brought to the roof of the Grand Tower. That's right, sir. Now, for item number two. The footage from the security camera at the Grand Tower's elevator. Didn't we see that? Yeah, we saw we see Courtney leaving with the president. The footage that captured President Huang and Judge Courtney going up to the roof. The elevator is generally the only way to get to the rooftop. And if the elevator was used, the person who used it would be caught on camera. Okay. Exactly. In other words, if you look over the footage from a couple days ago, you should be able to see an unconscious K being carried up to the roof. Then, Gummy, does that mean you... 
I checked out all the footage from before the incident two days ago on Fast Forward. I see. And the results? Well, a actually, nothing came up, sir. Kay never showed up on the tape at all. That was unexpected. I guess it won't be so easy. Well, then I wonder how she got there. How was Kay brought up to the roof of the tower? I should take a moment to carefully consider the possibilities. Well, then, let's hear your third and final report. Yes, sir. Last but not least, the most important thing to report. I'm so happy to be able to investigate with you again, Miss Edrith. Oh, bless his face. I'm gonna give him my all to arrest the culprit. That's all, sir. Huh. I apologize for putting you through so much, Detective Gumshoe. However, that was your most important report? It had nothing to do with the case at all. Edgeworth, come on, man. I would have preferred something that's actually useful. Ugh, that merciless attitude. That's the Mr. Edgeworth I know, sir. It is. Okay, the kidnapping. Tell me about that. A young boy has been kidnapped. I want you to help us search for him. A, a kidnapping, sir? The victim is a boy by the name of John Marsh. God, he looks like a brat doll in that picture, no? Just <laughs> a little bit? Ah, that kid with the horns. Yes, do you know about him? Well, I saw that boy myself, sir. Was that this morning? That's right. He came out of that trailer over there. And then... Well, he walked towards the garbage pickup area. The garbage pickup area? Why would he go over there? It's right over there, pal. That's where all the trash from the Grand Tower's offices is collected. Oh, I see. <clears throat> oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened after that. Since I left the place around then... I guess there was nothing strange about him going over there. It seems we must investigate the garbage pickup area. Oh, cool. I bet we'll find everybody over there. <laughs> okay, well, let's go. Can we just walk over there, then? Is it open? Excuse me, you two. Oh, yes, we can. Gummy said John headed towards the garbage pickup area. Indeed. There might be some traces of him left behind. God, I know what he meant, but when he says that, it just sounds so gross. Well, I already see one thing that's important. Won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny, you know, like this milk. <laughs> it's just right here. God, I'm getting major dang and rompa vibes from this scene, like right here, and I don't like it one bit. This milk carton is. It's the one John was drinking out of. There's no mistake, something must have happened to John here. Alright, how about the lock? Can we look at that? Looks like the garbage pickup area is locked. It's probably to prevent people outside of the Grand Tower from disposing of their trash here. Oh, well, I guess I can't throw... I can't throw Simon in it. Oh, well, maybe I could throw Sebastian in it. Who knows? Maybe he'll fit. The garbage pickup time is 11 a.m., so that's why there's no trash. I wonder if that's the time we should be paying attention to. Probably. When I looked here earlier, the place was overflowing with garbage, sir. So they must have come in that time. Okay. There was a big box there. Did you notice that? Looks like today is the day when bulk waste is collected during the garbage pickup. There really were a lot of bulky items placed here, pal. The garbage truck's compactor can crush any kind of garbage to dust. Uh oh. Well, <laughs> I hope the kid wasn't in one of those boxes. Oh, shit. Now, it seems in the case of bulk waste, it's transported as is without being crushed. Okay, good. Uh, why do you know about how bulk waste is disposed of, Mr. Edgeworth? Oh. I can make a gross innuendo here. Um, but I gave it up for Lent. I'm gonna refrain. <laughs> ah, maybe Mr. Shields, in order to accomplish his Mr. Edgeworth acquisition plan, sent him something like a moving process instructional brochure. There are times when you're so sharp, it's scary. Although, they're few and far between. Listen, that was pretty good. I thought that was slick. Combined with Detective Gumshoe's testimony, the chances are high that John was attacked at the garbage pickup area. Garbage pickup area. John's milk carton was found here, likely the place he was attacked. Okay. Right. If it was here, there wouldn't be many witnesses. But well, why would John have come to a place like this? It would be natural to think that he came here to throw something away. Well, we have no way of knowing since the garbage truck has already collected everything. Yeah, what do we do about that? Well, I mean, the only thing left is the milk, no? Uh... Gosh, like, what else do I even look at? 
Uh, do we have any logic we can put together? Let's take a look. Uh... Oh, wait a minute! These two! Only a taxi and a blue truck came through the plaza. The blue truck could have been the pickup truck for the garbage. No? Let's try that. Aha! Okay. The only vehicles that came through the plaza this morning were the taxi and a blue truck. And Mr. DeBess was kidnapped in the taxi. Yes. Meanwhile, John was attacked in the garbage pickup area. And the garbage was collected from there at 11 a.m. Ah! Oh, I got it, sir! The blue truck was actually... That's right. The blue truck that came through the plaza was a garbage truck. However, be that as it may, the officer who gave us this information made no mention that the blue truck was a garbage truck. Oh, talk about careless. How could someone mistake a garbage truck for a normal truck? That's not it, Kay. Today was the day for the collection of bulk waste. I suspect it was a standard truck without a trash compactor that came by to collect it. John was taken away by this garbage truck. And where do garbage trucks go? To the dump, of course. Yeah, take a dump. Wait, what? Hold up. The culprit was disguised as a garbage collector, right? Well, then the truck was probably fake too. How do we know they really went to the dump? No, the garbage truck should have been real. Huh? Why's that? That will be made clear if you simply take a look at this garbage pickup area. I don't know. It's been a while since we did that. Oh. This shows that the garbage truck John was kidnapped in was real. This shows. Um. Oh, I know why. Because it's it, the garbage that they showed was inside this locked area and it's locked once more. It's not open or anything and there's, there's no garbage in there now. Somebody who did this would have had to have had the key to open this. That. That's probably what it is, no? The garbage pickup area is locked. Ah, uh, only a real garbage collector could have unlocked it to collect the trash. Precisely. We should assume that a genuine garbage truck was used. Okay. For example, the kidnapper could have put John into a large cardboard box. If the box was mixed in with the rest of the bulk waste. The garbage collector would have carried John away without even knowing it. Exactly. The culprit would then lie in wait at the garbage dump. And if they said, I threw it away by mistake, the box would be returned to them. Huh. <sighs> Any garbage dumps nearby? Are there? Let's see. Ah! There's two! Dusk Waste Management and Dawn Waste Center. So which garbage dump was he taken to? Probably the one nearest to the Coliseum, right? Because we were saying that we heard the fireworks from there. Could there be a hint in any of the information I hold? Yeah, I think so. Which garbage dump? It's gotta be near the Coliseum. This has to be right. Otherwise, why would we have heard it? Based on the explosion sound we heard from the kidnapper's phone, we know that John is being confined in some place in the vicinity of the Coliseum. One of the garbage dumps is right next to the Coliseum. John was almost certainly taken there. In which case, the place he is being confined to must also be somewhere close by. Okay. Detective Gumshoe. Yes, sir! Could I ask you to search the area around this garbage dump? You don't have to ask me like we're strangers, sir. It feels so distant. Please, just order me around like you normally do. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna make a joke about that, but I want to. Are you sure, detective? Right now I'm not a prosecutor. Uh, didn't I tell you, sir? Detectives don't just investigate for the sake of prosecutors. You have my thanks, detective. God, she's so good. I'm so glad he's back with us. <laughs> Alright, investigation complete! Aw, oh, hell yeah! Mr. Edgeworth, look! It's almost time! We've wasted all of our time, have we? Ah, crap. Yeah, so it would be best if we hurry. They should also be at that limit. I can't imagine what's going on in there now. Detective Gumshoe, I'm counting on you. Leave it to me, sir. This may be an unofficial investigation, but I'll call in all of my pals from the station to help. Aw, oh, that's the spirit. I'll help too. Stealing John back is my job, after all. I will be returning to the courtroom. I might be able to draw out some more time. 
Okay. Well then, even in the depths of the night... The clock just struck two. We have to hurry. Yes, sir. Let's... Ah, my introduction. When no other bird dares to take flight. Oh, God. Oh, we're back in court. I love being in court. But we are going to do court in the next one. Oh, God. Can only imagine what the hell is happening in here. Oh, gosh. Okay, can we can we bide for more time? I don't know. We're going to have to see. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. And I'll see you soon in the next episode. Jeez. Toodaloo.